I've just set up a bomb in my car, and if my car falls below 40 kilometers per hour, it's going to explode. explode. Like that one Keanu Reeves movie. So I'm going to teach you how you can do this in this tutorial. So to get started, we're going to need a car, and I'm just using the sports car spotter. That's what I'm going to use. And also, we need an explosive device. Also, you're going to want to make a dummy props in my case. I'm going to go into here. I have a props folder, and I'm going to create a blueprint class called building prop bomb prop or something. So make your bomb prop. And here I'm just going to add a basic static mesh or actually just add a sphere and just make this really tiny like that. Okay. Compile, go back here, drag out this, and then just position this on in the center. All right. I've basically put it inside. And once you have that, just go back in here and just delete the sphere, just delete this sphere. And then compile, save, and now we have that in center, right? Next, you want to go here and right click on your explosive device, right click, go to attach to, and attach it to your prop. I call it bomb prop, so just attach to that. You're going to see that gets parented there. That's going to be important later on to follow our player. Okay, so we have that set up. Now all you got to do is go to verse, verse explorer, right click here, and add a new verse file to project. You can call it whatever, and you're going to want to create. All right, so in here, we're going to create um, a few variables. The first one is an editable and it's going to be our car. School spawner, sports car device. That's a mouthful. Okay. And then just equals to this. Okay. So it's just a class. Next one are our bomb. So at editable, new editable, I got bomb explosive device. So go up here first and you're going to want to include these two things. All right. So next we want to wait to find out whenever a player enters our vehicle. So you know, to do that, go down here on begin, do car dot agent enters vehicle event dot subscribe and pass in a function. So basically what we do is uh, we get the car and anytime an agent enters a vehicle, we're going to subscribe aka um, call a function um, and in my case i'm going to do you better start driving but you can call it whatever now you can call it whatever but uh it, you must take in an agent of type agent like this all right and it's gonna be type void it goes here because right, double t like that all right so make sure the spelling is correct like that okay next we need a way to test for or get the speed of our car um, or our vehicle. So I'm going to create a new function. I'm going to call it get speed and it's going to take a fort character. So our character of type fort underscore character. And yeah, you want to add this suspense specifier well, and type void equals. Now, the reason we add the suspense is because we need that to call this sleep function, which we're going to use, we're going to, use to update our uh, speed every X seconds. So firstly, I'm going to create some new variables here. I'm going to do var last at last position of type vector three equals vector three. And you can just copy that. And I'm going to call current position of type vector three, All right? Like that. Next, I want to create a speed variable. So I'm going to call it var speed. It's going to be of type float. Just initialize that to, I don't know, zero point zero. It doesn't matter. We're going to change that anyway. Okay. We have that. So in here, firstly, I'm going to, the first thing I want to do is do last position equals current position. Okay. So we want to do set last position equals current position. And after that, we want, we want to call sleep for 0 0.2 seconds. So this is going to update our speed every 0 0.2 seconds. Last thing we want to do set current position is going to be our fourth character dot get transform the translation. Translation like that. That's going to make sure our current position is the most recent, you know, player position. Next, we want to calculate the distance between our current position and our last position. But it, if they have moved naturally, our current position is going to be some, you know, distance um, farther from our last position. So I'm going to create a new variable. I'm going to call distance. All right. Uh, don't call it distance because this is already a keyword in a verse. So I'm just going to call player distance or whatever. Okay. 
and I'm going to make it colon equals. I'm going to call our this distance x, y, and then we're going to pass in our current position and our last position. So this retrieves the distance, like we said, of the current uh, between the current position and the last position. And I call distance x, y because I don't care about the z value. I just care about um, horizontal distance. Anyways, next we, I'm going to create this speed kilometers per hour variable. Now, the way a Fortnite measures your speed in, if you ever see the speedometer in the bottom right corner of your vehicle is in kilometers per hour. So that's why I'm going to call this speed kilometers per hour. So if you remember from I don't know, basic physics class, you would recall that your speed is equal to your distance divided by the time. Luckily, we have time here, 0 0.2 seconds and our distance here. So all we do is do player distance divided by 0 0.2. This player distance is measured in centimeters. So if you divide that by 0 0.2, you're going to get centimeters per second. Like we said, this is in kilometers per second. So we're going to do a bit of convergence here. Firstly, I'm going to convert this to meters per second. So put this in parentheses and basically divide this by 100.0 to get your meters per second. Now, of course, we want kilometers per hour. So all we have to do is do 3.6 times and then we enclose everything in parentheses. So get meters per second and then multiply meters per second times 3.6 to give you your kilometers per second. Lastly, all I have to do is return speed kilometers per hour and you have to make this void uh, float. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this has to be float because we're returning a floating um, point variable. I'm going to create a new variable here. I'm going to call var variable. I see vehicle is alive or something it's going to be of type logic and that's going to be of type true okay now i'm going to call a i'm going to create a new function it's going to be called a uh, blow up if blow speed or something and it's going to take an agent of type agent like that and this one's going to be also suspense so suspense and type void like that so this is going to be called um, immediately when our you better start driving function gets called which is anytime our player enters that but I want to give my player sort of a head start or like a heads up, you know, so they can actually get a, a start driving. So I'm going to sleep for 5.0 seconds. You can change this for however much you want. I'm just going to do it 5.0 5 seconds. Now I'm going to create a loop here. So loop, not char, I'm going to loop. So firstly, if vehicle is alive, is alive equals false. So if our vehicle is destroyed, call break which is going to break us out of the loop if firstly get our fort character so fort character equals our agent so this variable up here agent dot get fort character and you have to do a square bracket so if we can successfully get the fortnite character inside our vehicle then we do the following here we're going to handle our logic so firstly we're going to set our speed equals our get speed function and we're going to pass in our fourth character because remember our get speed um, expects a fourth character. So just pass in our fourth character that we just got. And that's going to give us our speed. Now I'm going to print my speed. So I'm going to print. Now in here, if our speed is below and here, um, this is up to you. Um, I wouldn't do just uh, 40.0. But basically, um, just choose whatever speed you want here. So if our speed is below 40.0, but you want to set our view set vehicle is alive equals false. Because all right, now I'm going to make a new function called bomb follow player. And you want to pass in a fort underscore character because we, we want the position to make our bomb follow our player. Also, you want to add an at editable here to actually uh, to the prop that we created back in the beginning. And it's of type creative prop and just type it like this. All right, next in here, we want to teleport our creative prop to our player. So just call dummy prop dot teleport to open square brackets. You want to put this inside an if statement. And inside, firstly, we take fourth character dot get transform dot translation. And then comma and just pass in rotation and just an empty rotation like that. It's going to teleport our prop to our player. And we're going to call this inside our for loop. So bomb follow player and pass in our fourth character like that now uh, we can go up down here and just call our bomb dot explode yes that explode it takes an agent but remember we have our agent so just pass in your agent like that all right and that should blow up in your face 
All right, last thing, just to go into your you better start driving method or function here. And simply, first we want, we want to set our vehicle is alive to true. So set vehicles alive to true. And finally, call the spawn. And inside of here, call your blow up if blow speed and pass in your agent like that. But I can UEFN firstly drag out, uh, find in your creative devices, find your vehicle device. In my case, it was called this, explode a vehicle device. Our car, get this, pick this, get this, eyedropper, pick your bomb, make sure it's explosive device, and your dummy prop, you want to uh, find your dummy prop. In my case, it was called bomb B prop, so I'll set that. Now, important, go into your explosive device, I want to tweak some settings. Firstly, you can change the player damage, um, I'm just going to set this like 200 to make an insta kill. Also, I'm going to go down here, turn off visible during games, so turn this off. And finally, really important, turn off collision during games, otherwise your bomb is going to sort of mess up your car. So that's, uh, so turn that off. And now we can finally go up here, build versus code, and you can launch your session, and let's test that. Alright, we're ready to start testing, I'm going to start my game, and I'm going to enter my vehicle. Now you can see, I get your better start driving, and after 5 seconds, I should get my speed um, being printed out. You can see there, 80, 79, 78, you can see that's consistent with my speedometer down there in the bottom right corner. And if I for some reason fall below 40 meters per second, I'm gonna blow up. Ah, kaboom, there you go. <laughs> I blew up, so. Alright, but that's basically it. Mm, I hope this was helpful, and yeah. Kaboom.